some nice areas laid out. However, there are no grass pitches. 360,000 people. There's one artificial turf pitch. We now have the new Joe Bono sports ground, but <coughs> yet to see anyone really playing on that in anger. That's been reserved for, for large events. And anyway, that's only one. There are seven, there's some seven aside hard pitches, four of those. There are two outdoor basketball courts. As I said, there's this one sports ground. Uh, 360,000 people, probably 100,000 of which are in that, that 15 to 34 age group. Um, okay, 60 hectares. Now, planning standards and guidelines say 70 hectares. Okay, so there's some more space reserved. There is. The planners have done their job very well. There's plenty more space reserved. And we have seven hectares reserved for a town park. Great opportunity to up our level of sports facilities. So, how does the town park look? An artificial lake, model boat pool, jogging track, amphitheatre, that's nice. Um, service building, of course. Landscape deck and covered car park. Elderly fitness corner. I don't know if it's the corner that's elderly, or, or the, I can never quite work that one out. Um, and, and a large lawn. I'm, I'm hoping that the large lawn will, will become something a bit more active. Uh, and we've got a, a nice indoor sort of sports centre because the sports are like, you know, they're to be hidden away a bit from the park. They might cause a nuisance. Um, so you've got these six, six hectares there. Um, I don't know how much space the artificial lake takes up, but this is Joan Bono, Junk Bay. You know, there's plenty of water around. Um, you can see it from most places in Joan Bono. I don't really understand why we have to have a, a huge ornamental lake here. Now, I suspect TW's cleaning lady has had a role in this. <laughs> I reckon she's been along. <laughs> And she's seen the custard tart crumbs and the potential for the, uh, the noodle soup spilling over. But quite frankly, I mean, this has gone too far, I'm afraid, to do anything about, I think. Um, but, but this is really sort of one of the problems we face. We've got seven hectares of space, and yet, what are we doing with it? We're turning it into another place where really you can't go and do anything. And unless you're elderly fitness. Um, or you want to go and do American Idol in the amphitheater or something. It's an audience of none. Um, it's, it's really it's frustrating. It is frustrating when you saw the profile of the German population, what they need, what they're actually getting out of the open space. Um, so there you are, that's, that's just a list of the things we have. I mean, this is nice stuff, don't get me wrong, this is nice things to have, of course. I wouldn't knock it. Um, but do you really need it? You only need a 10 minutes drive for a country park. I mean, quite frankly, if you want to have a nice walk around a garden with a large lawn, you've got Cyclone Country Park. That's quite a large garden with a huge lawn. We've got another little two-hectare site, again a similar kind of thing, open space, you could put a couple of, several basketball courts on there, you could put a nice grass pitch on there, you could have a hockey ground there, two hectares, easily enough space for that. Um, again, we've got some nice enough features, but, you know, is this really what we want? Again, here we are. Oh, another lake. <laughs> um, good. More water in Joan Guano. Again, it's, um, is this really what we want? If it is, fair enough. If it's really what the residents want, if it's really just more places to go and walk around, that's fine. But it's not actually serving the need for me of making open space dynamic, of serving the needs of our community, particularly when we talk about health, getting people outside there, getting them out doing sport. Of course, if you live in Jungwano, you always go to Quintong, population of 600,000, one seven aside grass pitch, three 11 aside grass pitches, I don't know how lucky they are. Um, two seven-a-side artificial turf pitches, that's it. Uh, plus they've got loads of concrete pitches, 23 seven-a-side hard pitches, 23 outdoor basketball courts, and it's only a 10-minute ride from Jean Bono to, to Quintong anyway. Again, Quintong probably is, is an older area, difficult to find the space in there, but again, let's get back to the point that we should be looking at finding the right kind of balance in our open spaces, for team providing some nice areas where people can maybe relax and walk around, but also something active. If we really want to promote more sport in the community, if we really want people out there, if we really want that at least 25% of kids who are inactive at the moment to be getting out there and having a more healthy lifestyle, that's what we need to do with the open space once it's provided. We need to look at really making it active. We can do it. Victoria Park. Always vibrant Victoria Park. You go through Victoria Park, it really is a central park for Hong Kong. Now, it'd be nice to have those pictures made out of grass, but if you did that, you wouldn't be able to have the Chinese New Year Fair, you wouldn't be able to have the Manifest Actors Association Fair, and all the other things that go on there, um, and which stop the old folks playing football for about six months of the year. 
but at least we can do it. And it's, it's very central. It's right in the middle of town. Um, and we've got a nice mix. You've got your lawn, but you've also got a lot of active, active open space. Um, so I'd really like to, to, to leave you with that thought. I mean, it's nice that we did well at the East Asian Games, and it's nice that we were the legend, and we had Donnie and Amy and all the rest of it. Um, but, you know, if we're really going to move forward and, and make open space mean something, I'd really like to maybe see if we can work harder to make open space more active, a place to go and a place really to do things, a place to enjoy. Okay, that's all I have for now. Thank you very much.